Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, welcome to Calvary, everybody. If you are not a member of Calvary, which means you have not hit the subscribe button, go ahead and yeah. do so right now. New members packets will go out at some point. Indeed. Zora stole them. She took them with her to Atlanta. <laughs> Whole nother story. But go ahead and hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button. At this point, it doesn't even matter. You've already been counting. Yeah. We're going to run through this review really quick. Well, we're going to try to run through it real quick. Because we done recorded this two times already. Yeah. And we keep having technical issues, Mike. But that's but, all good. But the it's, promise it, land. It's, it's part of the process, y'all. Yeah. And that first review was popping. You know how for a reviewer, when you know you'll skip popping, and I'd be like, dang on it, let's see if we can do it again. You know, the yeah. one-liners that was coming was like so organic. Yeah. I can't even do it again if I try. So, we start off with we got Lady May. She's sitting at the church after hours. Oh, she big, big ball of shot calling now. She don't send <laughs> out a mass email to everybody with the last name Greenleaf. And no told them that it is it's final. Me and your father are now legally divorced. We're not together no more. But basically, don't forget, I am your mother and he is your father. We are still a family. And what we have built over these 40 years will continue on as a family unit. And don't forget that I am your mom. Like what? Over email though? What in the 2018 kind of skit is this? Yeah. Your generation, y'all know y'all sit down and y'all talk about it. Yeah. Meet about it. You had it on Sunday, Sunday dinner. dinner. Yeah, that's already Sunday dinner and you talk about it. You don't send no email, no text, or no information like that. And then just in case you wanted to know whether or not Bishop had the information, I see see your father in on this too. So he <laughs> has the same information that you have. Okay. I still have questions. Because in my heart of hearts last week, Corinne was not going to send that freaking um those documents to the lawyer. So you think she still got them bad boys in her, her desk drawer? That's what I want to know. Is it just official in your mind because you signed and he signed? Hmm. Or do you have a divorce decree? Because that's a whole nother issue. <laughs> you know how people when they when they get to argue and they engage and they take that ring off and all of a sudden... We ain't together no more, but he he sleep right there. I yeah. can see him. Yeah, he's sitting right he's there. He's still here. Y'all may, may be on the house right now, but he's still here. Yeah. <laughs> so is is it like that? I don't know. Well, we're going to keep gonna find out the situation. So over at the church, they excited now. Maxine and May, they just as excited as they want to be. Two demons working around their church ready to tear up some skit like they used to do back in the day when they used to go clubbing. But they don't change the club. They don't, they don't trade the club in Thomas, we for the feel, church. We, I feel the press. Something great get ready to happen in here. No, it's not. Yeah, no, something it's not. evil is getting ready. messy about the yeah. pop And they ran into King Messi, him God doing so. Bishop. <laughs> Bishop comes around the corner and he said, well, well, well. What are you two up to? Hmm. Something about sackcloth and ashes. And which one of you all is going to be the donkey? donkey. Maxine said, neither one of us, but you are the ass. <laughs> and walked <laughs> off. And I said, what we're not going to do is disrespect Bishop in his, in his own, own house. house. Say, say that, hey, y'all ain't took the church yet, which y'all ain't going to take. But he did it at your church? Oh. It would have been some uh, smoke in the city. I'm telling you right now. coming from the left, right, north, and south. Because one thing I found out, you don't fool around with no lady pastors, man. Nah. Nah, <laughs> you don't. Oh, no. You, get, you can mess with them men way yeah, more than you uh -huh. can mess with the female pastors. Yeah. Because they got something to prove. Never mind. But anyway. <laughs> so back over there in Lady May office. <laughs> They still trying to get this day straight. Try to figure out what's the, who's the lineup, who's this, who's that. Well, Lady May knows <clears throat> that there are some people that just butter her bread. And you can't buck them over even if you wanted to. Hmm. And there was this one person that was going to get up and speak. And Maxine was like, mm -hmm. I ain't trying to go to sleep. I ain't going to uh. wait for this. Uh, what you need to do is get the person that's popping right now, that's, that's in the spirit right now, that's trending right now. Get her to speak. That's Gigi. Get her up there. She hot. And she can bring some young people into this church. Which is something you're going to need when you take over. Hmm. First lady was like, mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Hell no. To the no, no, Absolutely no. though. For real? 
You you just uh, couldn't play it off just for for two seconds. Be like, ah, uh, I check with her and talk. I'll to pray sleep. about it. Yeah. No. 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 Mm -mm. Just a uh, no. Just let 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 her know off the bat. I don't like her. <laughs> off the bat, I don't like my own daughter. And I'm like Maxine. <clears throat> See, this is me. The way that my mind works. This your daughter. And not only is she your daughter, she holds a title in this very church. Yep. What, what's the real deal? But she what's going on? But she'll say, I ain't the one to put in position. Her daddy, Her daddy did. did. I don't know what that is. But anyway, so Maxine wasn't going to let that thing slide. She had it in the back of her mind, and it was it's going to come up a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Corinne knocks on the door. First lady, Lionel is on the line. Maxine was like, well, first of all, boo-boo. <laughs> I said, see, here y'all go with this disrespectful boo skit. Just because this girl make a little bit more less money than y'all, don't forget she can buck your whole operation up. Yeah. Because she the one to make all this happen. She, she gotta make is sure the all first yeah. line of defense. Exactly. She schedule everything. She make sure y'all on time. Got your tea, your cookies, and all that good stuff. She can buck your whole schedule up. Yep. And, and ain't nothing you can do about it because you probably don't even know your own contacts. Especially for this conference. Hello. Yeah. You've been disrespectful career time. Myself. You don't call her first lady. She is not a first lady under any man hmm. right now. First of all, that just happened 2.5 seconds ago. Don't nobody even know. The Lord probably don't even know yet. Yeah, we need to have a prayer meeting for her, man. For Corinne. Because she been busy. <sighs> she been busy. Last few weeks. Yeah, she... Since when have... Freaking administrators of the church handle divorce papers anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Yeah. So so the first lady and, and just handing divorce papers say, take care to take take this to my lawyer. It's a little weird, but anyway. Yeah. So Maxine takes her tail over there to Gigi's office. Because now she she wants to know what the heck is going on. So she she came with a gift, some coffee, you know. Go ahead so I can get in the door. And Gigi was like, okay, what's going on? And Maxine was like, so tell me all about it. What she wants to know about this fine. She wants to know what's going on with it. What do you need me to do? Because this is something I want to get behind. <laughs> and Gigi was like, oh, you can send out a tweet. You know, Instagram live. You can do all that good stuff. You know, but I'm good. I appreciate, you know, you even want to know. And she was like, no, 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 child. Send me an email. Tell me what you want me to tell my people. Mm -hmm. I'll put a I'll put, I'll put a praise on it by putting a check on it. Yeah, for my foundation. I can double. We can double dip. You help me. I help you. And it's all to the good. But uh, I need you to tell me this right here. What's going on between you and your mama? And Gigi pissed me all the way off. Yeah, and as much as I love I me some know. Gigi. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're speaking of. Yes, you do. <laughs> you know, and you should have told Maxine. When you found out, since you and your my mama really do talk, and you seem to be her best buddy, you let me know, because I don't know why she don't like me. Yeah. I've been here ever since my sister fume. And she, she been shaded toward me since the ever video. Ever since. I don't know if it's because I ran away for 20 years and they think I had something to do with faith. I don't know. So she didn't get the answers that she wanted out of Gigi. So Maxine takes her tail right on back over there to Lady Mays um, over in her office. And she's trying to butter her up, telling Damn, her, you a triple threat. You should sing at your event. No, she shouldn't. I just heard her. She shouldn't sing. And told her, say, you know what? You need a theme. Do you have a theme in mind? First lady was like, I ain't got no theme. Basically, I hate when people do that. Huh. If you go ask me something way off cuff like that, that's because you already know what you want my theme to be. And Tell just, me just what you want my theme to be. Don't throw it out there. Spit it out. She said, I think your theme should be grace. <laughs> I said, just as shady, shady as you can be. First lady said, on that note, Corinne. I'm going to need you to get her car. <laughs> Basically, get this winch up out of here. She's too far in my goddamn business. And Lionel don't call. And she yep. know who Lionel is. She tell me some Lionel that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she ain't tell her to leave until she asked about Lionel. Ain't Lionel that dude that's like, oh. Time for time you, to, you go. to go. Too much of my business. So, since we have this whole event going on, we can't forget about the music, y'all. And I said, okay. So, they don't flew in Maxine's. Director of music, music, music director, director. Music director. And he comes in. Nice looking guy. 
and uh, immediately Charity, she was feeling a little some kind of way. And they sat down and they started talking business because they have to collab. So, and basically he's in her house. So basically he's under her authority and her instruction for this event. Yep. So she gets the talking and he said, hold on, wait a minute. We're going to need to pray and invite the Lord in so that this business meeting can go smoothly. I learned that when you bring the presence of the Lord in, it just goes off way better than it was if you didn't invite him in. That was a player move. Player move. The prayer player. <laughs> so he's praying, but Charity, she don't got so moist, she can't even keep her eyes closed. She over there looking at him like, that, like Michael Miles. <laughs> I said, here we go again. Uh -huh. I said, don't here fall for it, Charity. Again. Don't fall for it. So eventually, you know, you can see that there's some chemistry going on between them two. And he invited her out for dinner to go with the rest of them when they went out for their group dinner. She said, you know, I would love to go, but I have to go home because I have a son. He was like, oh, I didn't know that you were married. She said, ha -ha. Uh -huh. funny how you think those two things go together. I said, Cherry, don't play. Yeah. This is church. And don't tell Baby, that Baby, marriage. Yeah. That's how it usually goes in yeah. people's minds. So if it ain't marriage, it's fornication. And fornication, <laughs> and which means you wouldn't be in position right now. Huh? <laughs> in some churches. In some churches. <laughs> so, Cherry just said, you know what? I can't do it. But let me go ahead and... Put you up on game. Since you're going to be here for a little while, Kevin may come through here and pick up my son. So I'm going to let you know right here, right now. Which I don't think was necessary at all. Yeah, why you... He did not need to know about Kevin. No, he didn't. Tell my son, if you see my, ba my baby daddy, my ex-husband, he's gay. Right. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm doubly sorry for what you have to go through. That deception is not very susceptible to prayer. So I'm going to be praying for him and I'll be praying for you too. And that kind of rubbed Charity the wrong way just as like, it rubbed the you talking about, me Blair? the wrong way. And I'm like, what are you going to the restaurant with him and dinner and you can't call your baby got to do with Kevin being gay? And why did she have to tell him that yeah. Kevin was gay? Kevin is not flamboyant. So you, at first glance, you probably wouldn't have even been able to tell that Kevin was gay. And he doesn't need to know that information. No. Nah. But she forever putting Kevin business out in the street. Why don't you tell him about you and Jabari? Yeah. How you running all around the world behind his tail. And he dropped you like a hot cake when you couldn't deliver no more. <laughs> tell that. Well, come to find out, I think his name was Matthew, Michael, one of them. And one of them Elms. And he ended up not going to the dinner because he actually wants to go to dinner with Charity. At a later date. And she, you know, she's flattered. But she was like, I do have to talk to you about something that rubbed me the wrong way when we spoke the other day. And he was like, what is that? She said, you started speaking about deception and how I was deceived in my marriage. And da, da, da. And he said, basically, he stood flat-footed in what he said. He said he is deceptive. And he's deceptive in the sin that he's still living right now. And you deserve better. You deserve better than that. Charity said, you know what? Mm -mm. Basically, don't do Kevin. Yeah. And don't do me right now. I do deserve better, but you ain't it. Yeah. And I you, said, like, you don't know thank Kevin. you, Charity. Yeah, you don't know Kevin be talking about him like no, that. No, you don't put your mouth on, on Kevin because Kevin ain't did skit to you. Nothing. You ain't mad, Kevin. Nope. All you know is what she told you. She ain't had to business telling you that much. That's how, that's how people end up getting their getting <laughs> tail full up, man. You start running your mouth on people you don't know. And they say, you know, you got hit right between your eyes and know you know where it came from. That happened to my cousin. <laughs> say he went to a football game and he said he said I pulled up at the football game and he said somebody opened my door and smacked the piss out of me and he said I don't know who it is to this day. day. I said for real. He said smack the piss out of yep. me. I said first of all that's a punk move. They opened up your okay. door and smacked you and you ain't know who it was. I said oh okay whatever. <laughs> Uh -huh. So Coraline, how much time I thought the girl named Cora Lee. Cora Lee. Yeah, me too. Coraline wants to take the plea deal. She's like, I'd rather take 20 than take life. And I'm like, you ain't that young. You might as well roll the yeah, dice. Yeah, yeah, you both say this up there. Yeah, gonna be. yeah so. Now, this is what I say. This is my take on it. The first time we have actually seen Coochie Cross be very human and be in touch with a situation and be organically in tune and in the moment with this girl huh. 
got her to tell him the hell up. Cause Gigi is just like I am. I'm I'm listening when you don't think I'm listening. I'm gathering when you don't think I'm gathering. And I'm storing the file. And I'm storing it away. And if I never need it, I never need it. But if I need it, the boop, boop, it come right it's back right up. here. And you put one and two together. Put this file with this file. Uh huh. That don't add up. Put that file with that file. That don't add up. Yeah. I I can look people dead in their face and they be telling me a bald face lie. And I be like, really? Oh, that's something. Like you lie. I wonder. Because last week you don't none of that match. It don't even matter. But just know if you're around me, you better have your information straight. Because mm -hmm. I'm storing it away. <laughs> I ain't going to never use it if I ain't got to. And I ain't going to be, I ain't one of the malicious people. You ain't going to be petty with it, man. Nah. Unless but, you had to be. Yeah. See, so you ain't no killer, but don't push it. I ain't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shit, sometimes you got to be there, too. Like like um, Andre said last night, <laughs> I'm the bad man that you need. <laughs> yeah, uh, you need me right now if you want to get your son back. So, uh, what the hell was I talking about? Um, We're still on Kylie. Oh, oh Coralie. Coralie. So, Rochelle was sitting there trying to console this lady and tell this lady, look, you're going to need to fight. Have some faith, find something, but you need to fight because you don't want your kids in the system. Mm -hmm. And she was like, my mom went to jail and me and my sister were put in the system. And that is not a life that you want for your children. Mm -hmm. Gigi's over there. Boop, 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 boop. Uh -huh. she, yeah. Getting it all together. Well, when they eventually separated, and Coralie said that she was actually going to fight. They got a lawyer and all that good stuff. Gigi took the information to Darius. And told Darius, I need you to get your friends to run this skit for me. Yeah. And first of all, I said, Darius ain't going to come back with skit because he ain't on it too. But to my surprise, surprise. Darius came back and he said, um, because minor information is protected, Me we were it. able to narrow it down because her name is Rochelle, for yeah. God's sake. And there's three. And there's one that really does match. And the family still stays in the same home that she was in when she lived there so hey, we can take a ride. ride and they took a ride and a white lady came to the door and she was like oh y'all jehovah's witnesses <laughs> they didn't like those witnesses now, didn't they so they was like no but we would like to talk to you about these sisters that you, you used to have and she was like oh the sisters I like, oh they was that bad yeah like they gave you <laughs> your money now i'm still confused because i'm like where's the other sister because they kept saying stuff like she didn't make it out like what happened? Did she yeah. get adopted out? Did she run away? Did she pass away? What happened? We'll get to it later. Well, long story short, this lady ended up revealing the real last name of Coochie Cross mm -hmm. to Gigi and Darius. So Gigi had to call her father and tell her father, we need to meet right here, right now. Now, mind you, ever since Bishop think he's a free man, he been over there toasting it up with some bubbly and kissing all up on Coochie Cross over Celebrating there. Celebrating that divorce. Over there at the funeral home. So they think that they getting, well, he think that he going to get the tip in this time. <laughs> but Gigi hit him with the ooh wee. She said, Daddy, I know you don't want hit. Because every time I say something about her, you nearly take my head off. Mm -hmm. But you going to want to hear what I got to say this time. And he said, she said it was about Rochelle. He said, Gigi. If you're going to come. Better know what you're talking about now. Because I'm not for your bull skit today. Yeah. I'm in a good mood. This looker still is in my system a little bit. <laughs> and, and I'm all right. Don't don't kill my vibe. Say, don't piss on my parade now. She said, Daddy, her last name is James. Rochelle James. She is Daryl James's daughter. Hmm. She is basic skank's um, half-sister. Bishop was like, like, oh, skit, what do we do now? Where do we go from here? Because this witch got all the money. Take my money. And you just can't bust down the door all mad and hot because she got deceived. Because you got to figure out a way how to deceive her to get your money back. And right now, the ball is in motion already. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here like, oh, God, what you going to do, Bishop? And we don't know what he going to do. We don't know where this is going to go. All I know is going to go down. Yep. I mean, it is what it is. Because over here at Triumph, come to find out now that, you know, um, Keisha Cole Skank don't quit, 
they had to get a real accountant to come in and take over the books. Oh, Mr. Obey. Mr. Obey. And when I see Mr. Obey, I say, oh, Skip. He gonna find it. He gonna get this church straight. They he get that gonna, money right. He gonna find that money right. That penny that you were looking for for five years. He yep. gonna find it. He said, "Listen, I don't know what kind of organization your previous had. See, I don't like that either. They yeah. come in and they just tell what the <laughs> other person did." He said, "But I'll get it straight. But I have some accounts that I got my eyes on. Every Sunday, there's money being pinched off of the offering and goes into this account." And over three months, two hundred thousand dollars that went into this account. Like what? And it has phased out and been withdrawn, but there's no trace of where this money went. Like what? What do you know about this? Now he's talking, telling Clarissa this, and Clarissa is looking like, do what? And something about the the real church that came up and all this good stuff. Yeah. So she goes home and she's confronting Jacob about it. He was like, you know. Tasha may have said uh, some things about, yeah. about it, but I, you know, I, I forgot. I, I, you know, whatever. So Clarissa's just killing Jacob. I mean, tearing him down. Mm -hmm. You supposed to take authority. You supposed to do this. Da -da 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 Whole lot of bullshit. <laughs> well, Jacob's trying to get in touch with <laughs> Keisha Cole Skank, and she's over at the house getting drunker than a freaking skunk. Toe up on that Jack Daniel Brown looker. Try to tell y'all, man. They're going to cooch across with over there and was like, what the heck are you doing home? She said, oh, I quit. Mm -hmm. I, I don't quit. work there no more. I'm done. I did. And I'm not doing it no more. And you messing around with this innocent man and he did nothing to nobody. And then she slipped up and told Cooch across he should be the kind of man that I'm with anyway. anyway. Other than this damn brother yours. Because I wouldn't be yours. in this skit if it wasn't for him. You got dumb brother. He ain't no good. And basically, he better be dead. Because if he ain't dead, why has he got me out here, hanging out here by myself like this? Yep. So Coochie Cross said, all right. Basically, she knew they had to do something. Because this girl was done. And she told Coochie Cross, get the hell out of my house. I'm going to call the popo. And I don't have a story when they come. Yeah. So, so go. So now Jacob's trying to get in touch with her. She's not answering the phone. She says, so now you want to talk. <laughs> Still over there getting drunk looking at TMZ, watching her and T.I. on TMZ, all that good stuff. So, Clarissa finally gets through to her. And that looker had kicked in and the truth serum was coming out. She said, Clarissa, I'm so sorry. It was one time. I'm not a bad person, but I did a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, it's, please don't oh, hype me. No. Don't hype me. Please. It was just one kiss. One kiss. So they didn't do it, y'all. So it was just one kiss. So Chris was like, I do, uh, I do what? So are you telling me that you and Jacob? <laughs> boom, on that phone. Carissa <laughs> goes back over to the house and she is giving it to Jacob. So I oh, talked she to She went to the house. It was at the church. Oh, yeah, it was at the church. church. I talked to the gold-plated hussy. <laughs> what she said, she was one thread count for me from being, to being toasted on a Wednesday night. Ooh. And she told me that y'all had got to kiss it and whatnot. And he was like, oh, sorry. Ain't nothing really happened. I'm sitting here like, Jacob, really? Sorry? Sorry? Yeah. You know what that reminds me of, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. We had a family member that did that skit, but did something to his girl. Got another girl pregnant on her. And the girl that got pregnant called the real girlfriend while she was in labor to let her know, your man got me pregnant. I've been waiting yeah. for him the whole time to tell you. And since he doesn't seem like he's going to ever tell you, I'm, I'm in labor right I'm now. I'm old enough to call you and tell you. And, and that girl fell apart. We got all this at, going on at my house because the girl came to my house crying her heart out because she need me to gather her together before she killed him. Mm -hmm. We called him over the house and was like, what the fuck is this? What do you got to say for yourself? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been meaning to tell you, but you know, I know the right time. You've been meaning to tell this girl for nine, nine months? Nine months, man. So that's I know it won't be easy to do, but man, you know. I'd rather for it came out of your mouth than the girl mouth. Exactly. So that's don't what tell we remind Don't tell him what else she told him. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, she eventually did leave him though. Yeah. Um, she tried to work it out after that. I said, ain't no recovering from back from that. So, Jacob was like, you know what? I'm sorry. 
basically i'm done clarissa said you know what you need help you are sick yeah sick 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 and you need help and jacob said they're like yup yup sure i do, do. i yep. said oh he really checked out at this moment so i'm sitting here like okay what they're gonna do and she said i see why zora left and maybe me and Winky should leave too. And he looked at him like, hell, that's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Go. On. I said, leave. I said, oh, okay. So let's talk about Zora, the weed explorer. I have a glimmer of hope that Zora is coming to herself. Just a little, little bit. bit. Just, Just a little, little bit. bit. We'll come find out. They don't move to Atlanta. Yeah, so player must still got a little bit of change, recording records and everything. Yeah, he on the road doing his thug thizzle. Over there at the radio station, hustling on um, airtime and whatnot. And he ain't claiming Zora. Nope. All kinds of girls calling up to the radio station and they asking about what his situation, everything is everything. But but they were talking to him like he was an R and B singer. Not a guy. He is. R and B slash church singer. Yes. He's the Chris Brown of gospel. <laughs> That's what he is. So Zora confronted him and was like when you gonna claim me? He said, when you start acting right. Yeah. I said, this is what we are not going to do. Yeah. So now she's at a point where she said, you know what? I'm not gonna hold myself up. Let me go ahead and apply to Spelman. I'm already here in Atlanta. I can commute, do my thug thizzle. He was like, how? You ain't graduated high school. You can't go to college. You yeah, graduated ain't graduated high school. Yeah. And I said, she ain't graduated high school? Hold on. Yeah. I thought she's she 18. Did. I don't know. I don't know. But it seemed like she's still going to go forward. We're going to spell me. So I said, maybe there's a glimmer of hope. Hmm. Well, you want to know what Lana wanted with First Lady? Because she ended up over there at the convalescent home. Yep. He opened the door and said, we need to talk, talk about, about my da our daughter. daughter. It's like, what? I said, oh, Lord. Is it Gigi? Just Is it fake? Me. Just let us know. Just Which let us know. People throw a curveball on. It's probably going to be charity. Yeah. Because Gigi is the obvious. But at the same time. It gotta be Gigi, cause why she hate Gigi, Gigi so, so much. much. Yep. I don't know. But we'll find out though. But then, Tasha, Keisha Cole Skates, she told that got doing girl, don't come to a house no more. And Coochie Cross knew that she had to come back and she had to come back right. She called Basie. Mm -hmm. And I said, hold on, you can get in touch with Basie, but his own wife can't? Knock on the door. She ran to the door with a got doing lamp. Ran the bus outside of here, boy. She quickly went into the shadows. Here come Basie. She dropped the god doing lamp, and he was like, I heard you've been a bad, bad girl. So, oh, so now you can show up now because she's looking at somebody else. And about ready to blow y'all cover. Exactly. I said, if this ain't some kind of pimp and hoe stuff right here. Yeah, Basie, this was a pimp. And then she told me something. I said, oh, what? His beautiful, beautiful <laughs> face. I said, I can't with them too. So it's about to be on and popping now because Basie is back. And I'm glad he's back, to be honest. Yeah, let's see I what's like going to happen. Yeah, what's going to happen now? Yeah, and, and Lionel, Lionel's getting into heaven, y'all. He said, what y'all not going to do yeah. is is hold him down here. I'm revealing it all. And Moses uh, got down with Lionel. Said, I'm walking around here looking like Moses. And, and I'm ready to do it. Yeah. So straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla. Yeah.